Should we get? Should we get started? Should we get? Yeah. Cool. Hi, I'm Josh. I study engineering at Merton College, Oxford. Uh, hey, <laughs> um, I'm Matt, um, and I uh, I'm an all-round musician. <laughs> um, and in my spare time, I study uh, a theology degree at Christchurch College. In my spare time. <laughs> Yeah, and uh, we both do some DJing. We have a residency at a few student nights in Oxford. Yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, you actually don't have a DJ name, do you? Because yeah. do you have, did you? What, no. do you? what do you tend to like, when you're like solo, do you? Well, I mean, no, I'm like, I'm, I mean, I don't need one. Like, you don't, no, because well, no, it's just like- No, I mean, my name is, Josh, so right. I just yeah. So when I when I like my name's like Matt Byfield, obviously, um, and um, when I DJ um, like solo, um, my DJ name is um, DJ Matt Byfield. Um, but like um, when we DJ as um, as a collaborative project together, um, our name is Los Ganja Leaves. So yeah. Pop, funk, soul, disco. Um, occasionally I play rock and roll, uh, indie, poppy stuff as well. Yeah. Uh, some reggae too, sorry. Um, Bashman, you know, occasionally she strays into the dance hall. Um, samba, punk, ska, world music, you know, um, all the house musics. Yeah. Uh, like um, tech house, prog house. Deep house, like normal acid, house. Man, acid house. Uh, yeah, it's funny, acid house. Because well, actually, it's funny, like, acid house had like a pretty big um, Im impact on me um, and my music. Like the, the raving scene in the 90s like, was pretty pretty influential for me. Um, and, and like, why? Sorry, when was, when was I? Uh, 1991. So did you go to any raves as a baby? I'm like, no, obviously not, but I just saw it reported on the news and stuff. So, do you want to show us how to DJ? Yeah, yeah, sure, sure, sure. Shall we go? Yeah, so, um, so hello and welcome to my lab, <laughs> the uh, the back room where uh, the magic happens. Uh, so where I do my DJing when I'm out of the club, um, just at home, sort of cooking up some, some nice... Uh, blends and CDJs. You got your new marks here and and NDX nine hundred nine hundreds. They look like vinyls. They they're simulating vinyls. Some people do DJ only on vinyls, um, which I can do. I just don't want to. Pointless in my opinion. Yeah, it's living in the dark ages. So yeah, anyway, um, so you got to load up your um, yeah your one track. On here, um, and I'll just sorry, I'll just bring it up on on on, on the volume. <laughs> um, <good tune. laughs> um, cool. So you got your one track. Your crowd are like, grooving along. It's all about setting a nice, um, nice tone. Ease, danceable. It's always it's got to be danceable. You're a DJ after all. Um, and then the trick is when you get the right like interval. You don't you don't go for the chorus in my opinion usually unless you're really, really like feeling audacious. Um, find the right bit and then load the other track up obviously. You want it to like come in at the right time. And it's all about just fading it across. So I just like, just whack it across. Yesterday this round was it. Um, yeah, so anyway, that's pretty much it. It's pretty simple. Uh, another little sneaky trick though that I'll show you, uh, which goes down an absolute treat in uh, Cellar, any club in Oxford, um, or London, is um, your bass button. 
so you got it's all about textures DJing. You got your layers, your textures, you got your bass, your mid, your treble, you know. Um, these are your, your weapons. So the trick is to bring the bass down like this. Sounds tinny, but it is tension, it's all about creating the tension in the room. Um, people are like three, two, back up again. Whack it right up. He weighs and gets a chin. So yeah, um, that's that's my little tutorial. Uh, I'll bring it down again. Um, basically, uh, the rest of the DJ's deck. Sorry, you got your um, other buttons here. Not really sure what these do actually. Um, yeah, you don't need you don't need any of those. That one is just all. Uh, I do DJ on a laptop as well sometimes. Um, which is just as much of an art as with CDs uh, or vinyls. A little known program called Virtual DJ. You've probably heard of it, probably seen it out and about uh, house parties or whatever. Um, there's nothing virtual about it. It's a deadly serious, very realistic program which really simulates how it is to DJ with vinyl. Um, trick is with this, um, whack your track on again. Disclosure, big tune, 2012. Um, and the sync button is a secret weapon here. That's that's what's gonna like make it really really seamless. Um, you know, people won't even know if it's a different song if all goes well, which obviously usually does. Um, so again, cue the other track. Two tracks playing. Um, you bring it across, and in case you know, if it's like, oh, is that and then sync, bang. Just drag it across. Different genres, but it works. That's basically it. Uh, you know, voila, you're doing DJ. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh yeah. Um, like it can be a bit of a burden, though, sometimes. To be honest with you, because like. Um, if you're DJing, like obviously you're trying to concentrate and like you're like at the decks, like you know, doing a thing, and then someone will just like lean across them <laughs> and be like, "Oi, <laughs> you know, like, what are you up to next Friday?" <laughs> like, oh, do you want to go for a, a cappuccino or something? And it's like, um, it's distracting, but like, definitely one of the perks of the jobs. Yeah, like. Sure. Speaking of that's so weird. <laughs> um, wait, Lucy, come in, please. Yeah, sorry. Um, we used to go. That's it. Um, we're uh, just kind of we are um, <clears throat> doing a documentary about um, DJing in Oxford right. and um, okay. the sort of the ups and downs of um, studying and, and like DJing okay. at the same time. Cool. Which which one is the DJ? Oh, <laughs> she started early today. Right. The gags. Sorry. Is it is it you? Yeah, it's me. Right. Right. Obviously. It's me. Okay. Cool. So I was, I was just saying we used to go out. Uh, oh no, I don't think I'd call it going out. Not really. It wasn't serious. It was. It was going out. No, I think. Pretty we, serious. Actually. I think we fucked just a couple of times. So, a lot of no, like, <laughs> lots. Twice, obviously quite a lot. three times at most. More than maybe. ten. No, if, and I think if, if one of us was to then go and sleep with somebody else, that would have probably trust been broken. But no. at, at the time, it was very right. Okay. Serious. Well, so. I guess that's funny because in the end, what happened was that's not I went off and <laughs> That's not important. It's just that we used to go out for a bit. That's okay. The main bit. Done. Sure. Yeah. So, perks of the job. Yeah. Thanks. Why did your relationship end? <laughs> My relationship? No, it definitely was not a relationship, me and Matt. No. Um, sorry, is Matt the only DJ that you have in your documentary about? Him and one other. One other, right. So you've, you've heard Matt DJing before. You, you've yeah. seen how he actually does it. Right. Okay. <laughs> How long have you been DJ? Uh, since school. Yeah, I uh, used to DJ um, a lot at school. Um, also used to like commandeer the iPod at uh, parties, like you know, tune selector <laughs> at, the, at the house party. Um, and you know, people would get like annoyed because I'd change the song after like you know like ten seconds or something. Um, but it's for their own good. You know, judge me by my results. So. <laughs> 